Back from church. Don't get on camera. <laughs> hi guys hi guys and welcome back to the channel if it's your first time watching my name is suru amel and in today's video guys i'm going to be taking you around baum food around some important places that we have in baum so today it was on a sunday we went to church like you can see we are on our way from church and this is the first stop we have after church we call it muta fada in our language but it is called the Direct translation should be the father's market. So usually this market holds only on Sundays after church. People bring things from town and sell in this market to maybe people who cannot visit town for one reason or the other. Okay, that's right. Go go that side. So we literally sell everything in this market from food stuffs to dresses. In fact, everything people know those we don't buffo need, especially those who don't visit town. So we have everything organized. We have the line for vegetables, we have the line for Accra, we have the line for dresses and the line for for um tubers and all of that so each section has its own thing that they sell so i had to visit the accra line normally i don't visit i don't go to church and come back without eating accra no matter how much i have to give as offering at least i keep a 25 or 50 francs which i will use to buy accra because that is some kind of an indication or a mark that i went up to the market or to church this is what i'm seeing guys like eating and going home so we're on our way home and we had to enjoy our accra as we move down So later in the day, I had this visitor from town and since it was her first visit to Bafut, she asked me to take her to the Baum Palace. So we were on our way to the Baum Palace. I'm visiting the, the, the Baum Palace. My visitor from town <laughs> wants to see the Baum. I want to see the bomb palace. <laughs> so the street into the palace is it's just a small palace actually. It's not actually a big place. So the area is still in the process of civilization and as such we just have areas occupied by farmland and well cultivated so i had my kid ones and i together with my visitor into the baum palace to go and do what the mambo palace we are entering baum palace This is our Baum Palace on normal days. The last time I took a video here was during the annual dance celebration. So today I had a visitor and she decided to see or have a view of the Baum Palace and so I decided to bring her here. It's quite cold. We have buildings on construction. I don't know but we'll go down a little to see how it really looks like I'm just taking an outside view it's 
it has really been long i visited this place when i got here i was like really look at the improvements we have down here if you saw for my video of the annual dance you can see that there is a great improvement because this is not how the palace looked like then they are actually trying to make it advanced trying to make it look really good so we reached there and it was basically quiet we couldn't see anybody and so we had no option but to be on our way it's actually a chantier now <laughs> because there is a lot of construction going on and down there with that beautiful cap is the pal is the phone's house the phone's room right down behind probably one of the last buildings at the back of the palace I cannot go soon I reach there and I'm, I'm giving the fine to to find to, to, to I'm giving the fine to bring foul but I'm gone <laughs> I've entered the phone's house <laughs> So from now, we'll be heading to Ati Mulu. We call it Ati Mulu or Mambo. Yes, I'm going to the Mambo Squares. So here we are entering the Mambo Squares and we have this beautiful building which used to serve as a wholesale for building materials in the first floor, the second floor a snack bar and then the third floor a hotel. Like this used to be an interesting place but due to the crisis as you can see windows has, have even been destroyed in fact a lot of things have gone down so here we are at mambo and then we have this road leading up to baum and the other road down leading to mambo so this is just the squares here we have a division one side leading to mambo and the other side leading to baum So when we got here, I heard some noise from the field, that's the Mambo field, because I learned this day the Mambo were launching their interquarter tournament. So we decided to visit the Mambo field and see how the games are going. But before then, we passed through this another stop. This is the market. As you can see, it's looking dry because it's a nomad day. During the country Sundays, the country Sundays here, I mean days that they don't walk in barefoot. So people live, especially in the Mambo area, they meet here to sell some little things that people need within barefoot or within this area. So from there, we are moving to the field where the tournament is being launched. So we got to the field and behold, look at the population that we found here. So we just had to join the match and it was the half time and so they went for resting. So we had to join the match and we joined the second half of the match. And I even turned a strong fan to people I don't even know <laughs> since it was a Mambo launching and I'm not from Mambo so I basically know nobody from there in fact i don't have any team i'm supporting but trust me i was shouting as if my team is in the field so look at the population guys who can believe that this population can still be in barefoot in baum in mambo like the population came out for the launch i don't know if it's just the launching or this is what will be seen every day as the match goes on so you can see the successful team celebrating their 
victory as you can see everybody in the field people congratulating their players for the success like i said i got involved in the match like i was part of it as you can see me dancing dancing to a victory i know nothing about but trust me i enjoyed myself So because the field is somewhere situated around the church, around my path where I was supposed to pass, I had to take a little video of the church. This is where the Catholic Christians of Bafut worship. And then we have their hall here still on construction. So from here, we are going back to the market, the father's market I showed you earlier. Therefore, I basically went through almost all the strategic areas in Baum this day. So guys, from here, we are just going to be on our way and hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed yourself and please don't forget to keep your thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you still haven't and see you in my next video.